Hello, this is FreePathToWealth.com. I just wanted to talk to you today about a piece of software that I found that I wanted to share with you and hope that um, you can, you'll find it useful too. So this is really cool. So I'm looking for, if you're looking for a free autoresponder and single opt-in, all free, all wrapped into one piece of software to capture your emails, then your mail list provider software is it. I found this because I've been looking around for alternatives to MailChimp. So this will be a quick um, review on your mail list provider, YMLP versus MailChimp. Uh, the benefits that I found are, like I said, single opt-in. MailChimp sort of forces you to do double opt-in, but if you have a WordPress site, you can bypass that. I have a video actually. If you look up MailChimp single opt-in with WordPress, you'll find a workaround. Um, so that's good. The second benefit here to YMLP for short is the autoresponder. MailChimp does not have an autoresponder in their free account. Yes, you can pay for it, but it's not free. So if you log in to your um, YMLP account, you'll notice down at the bottom your autoresponder. And here we go. You can add auto, uh, autoresponders, which is very cool. So that's another benefit. Um, with YMLP, the benefit is you can store 1,000 contacts. Now with MailChimp, you can store 2,000 contacts. So that's double the contacts of storing. So that's there's a comparison. Um, another benefit for YMLP is you can send 1,000 emails per month. With MailChimp, uh, oops, wrong spelling, wrong. Uh, MailChimp lets you send 12,000. Um, I think that's per month. I'll have to double check that. Uh, but I know it's a lot more than 1,000. So quick comparison here. But again, these are, these are the benefits I see. MailChimp uh, allows you to export contacts, but YMLP does not with the free account, but MailChimp does with the free account. Again, these comparisons are free account versus free account. So export contacts, if you care about that, then you want to go with MailChimp. Unlimited sign-up forms, they both do this. You both can you can both uh, can create sign-up forms with both of them. Now what you can't do with YMLP, you can't import contacts from a list with the free account. MailChimp allows you to do this, but with YMLP you can do you can do um, contact import manually like one by one. Uh, you also can't do advanced reporting with YMLP, but you can with MailChimp, which is interesting. Um, you can't do click tracking, so that sort of stinks. Like you, you can't if you send a campaign out or emails, you can't click click tracking meaning um, you can't track the clicks inside of the actual email MailChimp does this and it's a really really nice feature I like that a lot so uh, that is sort of a downside in my opinion open tracking again YMLP does not do this with the free account again this is all free you it'll does everything with paid we're just we're just talking about free accounts here open tracking so it, it won't track how many people open your emails if you care about that MailChimp does it with the free account. Bottom line for me, the reason why I'm making the switch to your mailing list provider, YMLP, <laughs> mouthful. So if you care about single opt-in and want an autoresponder for free, then YMLP is your choice. That's my choice. Now, on the other hand, if you don't care about single opt-in and you don't mind double opt-in, which are some benefits to double opt-in, and you don't care about autoresponding, which I'm not sure why you would, but let's say you don't care about single opt-in, you don't care about autoresponding, then MailChimp clearly wins. So I just wanted to do a quick comparison. I'm going to do a switch. I'll probably use a combination of both, um, but right now for my real estate investing websites, I will use YMLP because I don't want double opt-in um, when I try to capture leads. I want a single opt-in. So I'll probably use YMLP for that, but in general, for everything else, I'll probably use MailChimp. So I'm gonna use a combination, and you, you can do that too. I, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend signing up for both of them and, and taking a peek at both of them. Um, but that was it. I hope this video was useful. 
I'll leave all the links below. I'll leave the links the link below to this double opt-in <laughs> single opt-in um, with WordPress that I video that I created. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Otherwise, have fun and enjoy your free uh, software online. Take care. Bye bye.